Hi, this is Luke from Basic Drum Co. And I'm going to quickly show you how to install your drums on a Macintosh based system. I'm going to be using a Mac with Logic. It's pretty much the same whatever you're using on Mac. All our drums come in two parts. There's an installer, which installs the virtual sampler, and that will go into your DAWs plugin area. And then there's a library of drum sounds, and you'll have to uh, install that yourself and pick where you're going to put it. But it's pretty simple. So I'm just going to uh, quickly install the Coded 19 drums, unzip the installer, and then open it up and click on Package. And you're just going to answer yes, or continue, or OK, or fine, or whatever it might say, agree. You'll have a choice of different um, versions of the plugin, VST, AU, AAX. On a Macintosh, you're probably going to be using audio units, but um, you can choose. You can install them all. You can just install what you need. I'm just going to install them all. And, and that's about it. Uh, okay. Da, da, da. And that's it. Okay. Now, the library is a little trickier. You're going to have to put that where you normally put your drum libraries or your sound sample libraries or whatever your recording resources might be. Some people have a spot on their main hard drive where they put all those things. Sometimes people put them on separate hard drives so they can bring their setup around or work off multiple computers. I tend to put my things on a separate drive, and that is where I have them. Now, when you go to your DAW, you're just going to load the drums up. I'm going to load up the uh, Coded 19 in stereo. Now, what you'll probably have to do on your first load is tell the drums where the samples are. So if you go to Settings and hit Change Sample Folder, you'll see right now it's coming up because I've obviously installed these. But um, that is where the samples are. So you just click on your samples, and it says you need to reload the plugin. I have found what I have to do is actually turn the plugin off completely, set no plugin, and then come back in and reload it. And it'll reload all the samples. And, uh, and there you have it. And if you're loading up the Back to School kit, it's very similar. You're just going to go down to Back to School and load the drums. It'll take a bit. Uh, on the Back to School kit, click on this little symbol, and there's your sample location. And you set that to Back to School wherever you've put your drums. And then the same thing again. Reload, turn it off set it to no plugin and then put the plugin completely back in and there are your drums enjoy your new drums they're going to sound awesome we hope you make some great music with them